Let's see now onto our feed at five, and we want to know what you think about all of this. When should fall contact sports be played? Fall, as usual, or should they be pushed to the spring? You can tell us by heading over to WKYC.com slash vote now. And while you vote, let's bring in Brandon Simmons. Brandon, I know you talked to some high school coaches today. What are they saying? Yeah, one thing I can say is the governor has found a way to sort of signal what he's thinking before making these big announcements, allowing time for people to weigh in. And this was no different. Much of what I heard today was expected and the coaches expected it too. Now, the governor spoke to coaches and superintendents before making this announcement. And the key word I've heard a lot today is flexibility. Schools can move forward if they want to, only if they feel that it's safe to do so. And if now is not the right time, they also have that option, as Laura said, to hold off until later in the year, even going into spring. Now, in Avon, they already have a six-game season planned within their league, and head coach Mike Elder says he's happy to be able to move forward knowing the state's position. I think our community's really supported our plan, and hearing what the governor just said now, he's kind of leaving it up to individual local districts and communities to make their own decisions. And I think that's wise in a lot of ways because everybody's reality is slightly different. Now, Avon is in Lorain County, back in Cuyahoga County, where the health department recommended schools hold off on extracurricular activities. Parma schools led a petition to allow fall sports to be played in spring if schools decide that's what's best for them. Now, the governor confirmed that option is indeed available. Again, flexibility being emphasized by the governor, knowing that schools are likely the best suited to make these decisions for their students. That also allows for, I think, the most people to remain happy in what the decision is. A blanket decision one way or another, Jay, obviously could have left a lot of people angry. Now, this certainly gives schools options, and I know that's what many people were looking for. By the way, you're telling us right now two in three, almost two in three, say that they think spring is the safer option. Brandon Simmons, thank you so much for the information. We appreciate it.